Hold up now. Hold up. Mm-hmm. Let's bow our heads today. Dear Lord, thank you for bringing us to Up Church. A lot of people have asked me to react to bloodshed. Now, Lord, I know everything that you have cast upon us has been blessed and has always, in your eyes considered wonderful. Today's a beautiful day. I'm alive. Thank you, Lord, for that. May everybody have a blessed day. May everyone have a positive day. That being said, I'm about to react to a live, do a live reaction to Up Church called Bloodshed. So let's begin. But before you begin, you know I gotta do this. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, brother, old my teeth. Once again, um, if you guys have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell. And for those who have already, thank you for rocking with your boy. So I'm about to check Up Church's song, Bloodshed. It's been out for a while. Um, but a lot of you guys want me to do a live reaction to it. So I'm about to check it out. I'm hoping it's good. You know I love making some good music. So yeah, let's go. Let's begin. Ready, set, go. I just have to say that the quality of this video is crisp. It's, it looks amazing. Um, it seems like Upchurch got a lot to say. I see that he has his little vest jacket on or something. He has the band on his head like he's ready to go through something. Um, it's nighttime. You see flames. And he's walking down a path. So far, I feel like he's got he has a story to tell. And I'm a big fan of some of rappers that can tell stories in their lyrics. So I can't wait. So far, the quality is great. I'm going to bring it back a little bit. Don't want to miss the, the beginning of the, uh, I think it's the chorus. So let's go. And I don't want to cast no stone, but I feel like I'm sitting on a throne that's about to self in in a house made of glass that is already cracked and destruction's coming back And I see no love, I see no pride, I just see blood on our own flags Yeah, on our own grass Yo, the chorus is dope You know, he's sitting on a, a throne that's about to explode In a house full of glass that's already been cracked Yo, boy and then he sees no he sees no love, no blood, all he sees is blood on his home flag. So it seems like he has something to say a lot. Part of me, I have stuff with those, I don't know why. But don't mind me. Mm. Yeah. But um yeah, he's sitting on a <laughs> it kind of looked like a game of throw thing, but a southern southern throne. I see a I see the rebel flags. Um I don't know what the other flag is. I'm assuming it's a Texas flag or something else. Maybe one of you guys can tell me what that flag is. I'm a little fuzzy on all the flag history. So that being said, let's begin. So far, the course is dope. Seems like he has a lot to say, a lot to get off his chest. So let's begin. Church. I woke up this morning, flip the TV on, and I see a civil war in the country I call home. American flags, Confederate flags, and Nazis with swastikas. Hey, groups throwing. Don't let them brainwash you. Yo, facts. Facts. Don't let them brainwash you. A lot of you guys are quick to believe what you see on social media. A lot of y'all are quick to jump and believe it and automatically take it as it's like, all in all, die hard, honest, true. What people don't realize is a lot of the social media only gives you what they want you to believe or what they want to tell you. They only will tell you half of the story but not the complete story. Everything set on an illusion is only what they allow you to see. So I like how he's he put that out there. Don't let them brainwash you. Use your mind. Mind is a powerful tool. A lot of a lot of us is forgetting to use it. But damn, he has a lot of guns. It looks like he's ready to go to war. Shotgun. Goddamn. Goddamn. Shoot. You look like you all set. You don't need no help. You got you got, you got enough weapon that's gonna last you a while. Okay. 
Seems like it's about to get deep. Let me let me bring it back a little bit. Let's go. American flags, Confederate flags, and Nazis with swastikas. Hate groups throwing piss because they're mad at a monument. It represents a time when we advance from mistakes. Now you're making the mistake by taking that out of place. You're stopping this. There used to, there used to be a time that we used to make um, make some mistakes. Now we're taking it. Now it seems like we're taking that out of place. You know, I agree with that. Um, a lot of us, history is to remind us what happened in the past. And we should not be living in the past, but living in the future on ways to make us better. Um, I'm assuming that's what he's talking about. Um, a lot of us make, because he's talking about Nazis and so I'm getting upset about something, you know, about the monument. Big monument. I'm not talking about the monument that happened down south. I don't know. But yeah, a lot of us is taking stuff out of content. Um, we should not try to live in the past, but I'm not gonna speak so far yet. Let me watch some of the, let me continue watching a little bit of it and give more of my opinion. Let's go. Spitting on it like you just whooped someone's ass. You fucking degenerate, get your lazy ass off the grass. This ain't a statue of slavery. Do you see any slaves? All I see is some idiots cause of social media craze. What you gonna catch me outside? Yeah. Oh, I should have let it play a little bit. Now I see why y'all made me watch this. Hmm. Okay. You going there. Um. So far, I like the video. I love what he has to say um now now i remember uh about the down south history they took down a statue and people were losing their losing their mind um <laughs> now i'm connecting the dots how he's saying oh, okay so he's talking about the minorities who were angry as well and they were taking the i think the american the confederate flag and spitting on it like they whip <laughs> they whipping someone's ass <laughs> yo that that's bars, yo. That's bars. Um, but yeah, he, he has a point. He has a valid point. Now nah, I will agree. Um, we're not we're not physically black people are not physically slaves, but mentally a lot of us are still trapped, feeling like we're we're still part of the slave uh, system, because once again, you may not be physically, you may not see physical harm. But yet again, a lot of people, you feel like how Tupac says, if you keep knocking on a door asking, you know, can I get help? Can I get help? And the person keeps slamming on the door and you're seeing on the other side of that fence, everyone eating good, everyone living good. Life is great. But on where you're at, it's terrible. No one's there to help you. You begin, you begin to get angry. You begin to get vicious about it. And to the point that you say, you know what? I'm done knocking on the door. I'm busting that door down. Um, I feel like down south, where that where it happened, um, I know there's a lot of angry black people because a lot of them are getting shot by police or um, dealing with boost brutality or dealing with the hatred. Um, I cannot sit there and say I've dealt with any of that. Um, unfortunately, my mother raised us in a different neck of the woods um, and taught us self-love and to always forgive. But I'm not gonna be ignorant to not believe that I've never dealt with hatred. Growing up in a white neighborhood, you know, you, you tend to deal with that, especially being of a different color. But he is right. I don't hold myself like I'm still a slave. I don't look at the past on that. But I'm not gonna be foolish to think that society is going to open me with open arms and give me love. Like if I get pulled over, I'm not gonna, I already have my license and registration over the dashboard, no lie. I put my hand over the dashboard with my license and registration and I keep it there. Now I've had multiple cops, when they came, they felt out of place. Like they were like looking at me like, what are you doing? I'm like, you know, I already have my license and registration over here. You can see my arm, you know, but my, that's for another time, another story. Um, but yeah, I feel what he's saying. I love the song so far and he is correct. We shouldn't be holding on to like, because we're not getting whipped. We're not getting beat down. But are we still living in, are, are people still living in hate? Yes. So we can't deny that. If you choose to ignore it, that's due to you. That's kind of ignorant. But yeah, he is right. We're not, uh, slavery does not, is not here. Physically, it's not here, but mentally, it's still there. 
like I said, once again, freedom is only of what we allow you to see. But yeah, I like it so far. Let's go. I like that part, wait, how he was walking through the graveyard. I'm taking it as, like, since there's so much hate happening, there's so many death that's going to be, that's being involved. Because we are too busy, this country is too busy segregating each other. And that's not what makes America beautiful. It's not. Anyone that believes that by segregating each other, you know, all the blacks be on that corner, all the whites be on that corner, all the Hispanics, Asians, so forth, be on different corners, will be good. No. What makes America great is that every great people from who came from different countries came together, came on this uh, continent. Even if we were forced here by slaves, eventually that would set, we were set free. Um, but we still we still contribute to a lot of great things that happened in this country. While it be how it was done the wrong way or whatever the case is, that's in the past. We can't just be holding on to it. But America has a lot of greatness in this country because of all the different ethnicities that's in here. And I love the fact that, you know, he's pointing that out that we can't be holding on to hate. Like, I see red, white, and blue. He, all he sees is his, his country. He's not looking at, you know, I see a black person. Oh, no. I see a Hispanic person. Oh, no. Or whatever the case is. I see my country. Everyone that's in it. Oh, that's all I see. And all you guys are seeing. And I'm assuming he's not just talking about black people. So some, if any black people has taken it, like, whoa, he's talking about us too. Um. I think he's talking about everybody. Everyone that is who has hate is projecting it, and y'all forgetting we're in a great country, but we're so busy pointing at each other. Well, you did this. Well, you did that. And instead of being like, you know what? You're my brother. Let's move forward as a as a country. Let's make this country great. Let's make it what it should be. Let's be an eye. Let's be a beacon that everybody from other nations can look at it and say, look how great they prosper because they have put their differences aside. They're able to push forward, love each other, and work together. Because the sad part, and I feel like I'm getting too much into politics because you guys may watch this video, so this is your fault. <laughs> but I feel like the sad part is the only time, and correct me if I'm wrong, the only time we ever get together is when tragedy happens. And that's like the saddest part that I feel like that should never be to the point. Like anytime we get some another country attacks us, anytime something happens to us, that's when we unite. That should never be the time that we unite. We should always be strong together. We should always move forward together. That being said, I love the video. Let's continue. trying to get to the swimming pool but you stuck in the now see what y'all try to do <laughs> um really to me the whole black Lives matter has nothing to do with um that no one else matters that was just a movement saying hey a lot of black people in this side of the in this state in America are being gunned, being beaten, being mistreated, and the problem is not being fixed. I apologize for my stuffy nose. Mm. But yeah, you know, we're being mistreated. Um, I think when anybody who goes through that, let it be Hispanic, white, whatever your ethnicity is, if you were going through the amount of hate that black people are dealing with, I think you would be the same way. I think you'll be pissed off that every day you see on the news another black child has died regardless of what they could have did or they should have they shouldn't have done a, not a life was taken a young kid's life was taken um so they're just using it as hey we matter too black lives matter not to dismissing that no one else's life matter i do agree that all lives matter um i'm that type of person if i see anything wrong in anybody and that's going wrong in america 
I'm the type of person I stand for my country. I support my country. I have everyone's back. I won't look judge you by the color of your skin because the wise man once said, if you judge somebody by the ethnicity or the color of their skin, then it's the man or woman that you will never understand. And that is the most deepest uh, wisdom that I could pass on to you guys. If you judge somebody simply off the color of their skin, their gender, their um, ethnicity of who they are, then you just totally missed out what you could have known about this person. Because all you know, this person could have had a lot in common with you. You could have got along, uh, along with this person, but you dismissed them because you automatically looked at them and cast them aside. I think we should stop doing that to each other and love each other and just really get to know each other and figure out what's the problem that's happening and how can we fix it. With that being said, yo, this song, like I said once again, like it is dope. I'm feeling it. Um, I'm not angry at anything that he says, so if you guys expect me to get mad about it, nah. I'm not getting mad. I feel like, you know, he has the right to speak up on what he feels and what did actually happen in that moment. And shoot, I'm laughing at it because it's, it's funny. You see a lot, I saw a lot of people on what the media was posting, especially on YouTube. You see a bunch of people stepping on them, our, our flag. And to me, that's really disrespectful. No matter what, you can hate what's going on. You can hate what's happening. But you live in this country, so don't disrespect this country. And the one thing I hate the most, and I'm going to say this and keep uh, pushing forward, just so we can nip this in the butt. I do not care that someone rocks a Confederate flag. I know it's a rebel flag. I know the history of the, the Confederate flag. I know that the person who designed the Confederate flag did sit there and say it's for a um, hateful movement. And so you can always look that up. You can do your research on it. However, that's in the past. Now I feel like the Southern... The South has used it as a Southern symbol because to me, it's like this. I've had I've had a lot of my students who've asked me, well, I hate the Confederate flag because it represents this. I hate it, you know, because a lot of the white people I know who are from the South or whatever cases rock that. And I feel like they have hatred towards me because they're rocking that. If you're my friend or you, you rock with me, you wouldn't want to rock with a flag, a rebel flag that wanted me to be still enslaved. Mm. And I say this, if you hate the Confederate flag, you also hate the American flag because the American flag has more bloodstain than the Confederate flag. It just took until the South sat there and said, no, we're not doing this. We're keeping it this way. And then they went to war with it. However, if you really think that the Civil War had anything to do with setting black people free, you kidding yourself. But that's for another time. I don't like to get into deep into politics. But yeah, that's for another time. Um, history doesn't show that it, it didn't take for the North and South to go to war with each other. I'm still talking about it. Might as well just get it out just to get over it. But yeah, it doesn't. It didn't take the South, the North and South to go to war for them to say, hey, we're going to set black people free. It had everything to do with power. The South was gaining power. The North wasn't. The North was losing power because they were losing, they were falling into debt. They were falling in. They were about to hit the Great Depression. Um, a lot of white people didn't want to hire white people because, hey, I had um, slaves who worked for my factory. What I need you. I don't have to pay you. I don't have to pay them. They work for me. They're my slave. So why should I pay? I don't have to pay you. So the North was having that problem. The South seemed like they had it fixed and they started gaining more in power. The North was not having it. So they had to figure out a way. How could we do something that we get back into power, but it benefits everybody, meaning a way that we could still have slaves, but we could somehow, and they, that's when taxes got involved. I'm a little bit um, fuzzy on that, but normally that's a topic I always talk with my students on, but yeah, that's for another topic. But yeah, if, if anyone that thinks that the South, the North had everything really had to really set black people free, it wasn't that. It was actually something else that set black people free. But that's for another topic. Other than that, I definitely love what Upchurch has to say. Um, you know, honestly, it, it takes a real person to speak their honest opinion. Even if people might get pissed off at what you have to say, it's facts. You gotta, you gotta speak the truth from the heart, and that's when, that's when shit is real. I love the video so far. Let's go.
feel like I'm sitting on a throne that's about to self implode. In a house made of glass that is already cracked and destruction's coming back. And I see no love, I see no pride, I just see blood on our own flags. Yeah, on our own grass. Yeah. yeah. From the outside looking in at all the shit that's going on in the world, man, in a perspective of mine. It's kind of like you're sitting in a field with tall grass and it just rained and you got bald tires and you're on the acceleration so much that you ain't going nowhere. Mm. And if you ain't going nowhere, I ain't going nowhere. Yo! Up church, that is a great analogy of how you break it down. It is true. It's like walking through a field that is it's supposed to be sunny out, but all it, it's been doing is pouring rain. And you are stuck in a mud, not going anywhere. Because you choose, and it's like, I'm not speaking for him, but how I'm seeing how he's saying it. It's like he's saying that you're not, we're not moving forward because we're too busy stuck on something and not moving forward on it. So we're not going to get anywhere if we choose to not help each other. And that is so facts. Definitely facts. Let's go. We got to move together as a country to get to the next destination. Facts. And I don't wanna cast no stone, but I feel like I'm sitting on a throne that's about to self implode. In a house made of glass that is already cracked, and destruction's coming fast. And I see no love, I see no pride, I just see blood on my own flags. Yeah, on our own grass. Mm, on our own grass. Oh! <laughs> and he has the Illuminati symbol. Honestly, I didn't even get to that topic. I'm like one of those people that like get deep when it comes to like stuff like that. I always tell my students like because they're like, well, Illuminati runs everything. Illuminati is just a symbol, like a mascot, but it's not actually the organization that runs it. There's something else that runs it. I'm not gonna get in deeps in that. But yo, this video is dope. Yo, thank you guys for letting me watch. Uh, tell me to watch this video. I'm glad. Uh, definitely dope um up church you have a creative mind and everything and i'm glad that you had to it's better to let it out instead of holding it in and that is so true that so many people hold on to hate instead of having love for each other instead of finding a way to move forward the music is dope the chorus is dope um you kind of get emotional to it because he has a lot to say to it and it's not um just pointing about and a lot of people are probably going to say well he's talking about black people and saying that we're not trying, to, he's not just talking about black people. He's talking about everyone that's stuck on hate. He's pointing out that yes, there's a group of black people in that situation. Instead of, you know, protesting the right way, you, you allowed your anger to cloud your judgment, and you went on a rampage and destroying stuff, destroying a country that's trying to that help set the moment for you to be free. Once I get, once again, I say. Freedom is only in the eyes of the beholder. It's only what we allow you to see. That being said, this video is fire. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. Um, tell me what else you want me to subscribe to. Uh, not subscribe to. Uh, watch. I'm about to pretty soon do a, a live reaction to uh, Crip. A lot of people have been telling me to check him out. Well, I've already checked him out before because you know I do follow the man. So definitely can't wait to do a live reaction to him. So shout out to you up church. Dope video. Definitely dope video. Uh, I think you need to do a part two. Personal opinion. I think you need to do a part two because there's still a lot that's going on and stuff. Not just with, I think with everybody, the Hispanic, the whites, so many people in our country. I think you need to do a part two. I think people are waiting for a part two. If he has a part two, please let me know because if he does, I don't know if he has a part two, but if not, I'm just shooting that out there. I think a part two would be dope. Um, for this video, I think it's long past due, but maybe that's just a thought. Maybe you already have it in motion and stuff. But that being said, your boy gotta head to work because <laughs> your boy is late. <laughs> Later.